All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's Dave Solo with you from the Pop 10 and from Walker Nation. And we are going to unbox this brand new case of the Walking Dead Mystery Minis in memoriam for all of those we've lost on the show, courtesy of our good friends over at Plastic Empire. Now, I'm not gonna be doing this alone. Uh, sometimes you need to get by with a little help from your friends or your kids in this case. You've heard them on Walker Nation Podcast. My son, Dizzle, come on in here. Hello. What's up, Diz? Hi. Big fan of the old Mystery Minis? Oh yes, very big fan. All right, so I say without further ado, we move Morgan out of the way here and uh, we get down to business. You ready? Yep. You can do the honors, grab the first one. Let's see what we got. Plastic Empire hooked us up with this case of Mystery Minis. What's first? Just rip into it, man. Like there's no tomorrow. Uh, okay. This is where oh, it keeps falling off. Okay. There you go. Got like a madman. Should have brought Lucille. There you go. What do you got? And I can see your face. We got Nicholas. Nicholas. All right. Pop him right here. There you go. Yeah. We have ourselves Nicholas, played by Michael Trenor. Of course, we lost Nicholas in the episode. Thank you. Good choice. I'm going to the back. Give it a little okay. shake as I like to do. Here we go. Let's see who's next. Get that out of here. We don't need that. Feels like a like a like a Sam. What do we got? Oh, oh. booyah! That is Glen Ree. We'll put Nicholas over here next to the box. Uh, Glen Ree himself. That's a one out of seventy-two. That's a one out. Of, is that a one out of seventy-two? Yeah, that's a uh, one out of seventy-two already. As you can already. see right here in the back of the box, we have some good odds here. Wow, that's yeah, that's one out of seventy-two. I got the magic touch, Glen Ree. Let's put Glen over here. You're up next, my friend. It's hard. It is a hard decision. I guess I'll go for the middle one then. Go for the middle one. Bang it out. This is number three. A case of twelve. The suspense. It's killing. Get out of here. There you go. There you go. See? What do we got? Oh god. Oh, hmm. Ooh, we got That's uh, Andrea. Andrea. Put Andrea right up here where okay. she belongs. There we go. All right, there is Andrea. She's got her chains on. She's looking wild. That would be good old Andrea. All right, cool. Uh, I'm gonna go up front. What am I feeling? Uh, give me some Dale, give me some Dale. Give me I some Dale. Dale. Dale Horvath played by Jeffrey DeMunn. The one and the only, Lori Grimes. She's a one out of 24. One out of 24, magic touch, like I said, that's what I got. Oh, good. Here and go. uh, Andrea was a one out of 12. It happens. Which one are you gonna take? You are next. I think I'll go for the middle again. Go for the middle again. My mom always said, you take the good stuff and you stick it, it on, the on the inside. inside. Yeah. Shout out to Raina Cruz, who is our director and camera person. What do we got? What do we got? We got oh, Dale. you got Dale! All right. Everybody say hello to Mr. Horvath. Let's see. This could be the best night of my life, actually, the way that this is going right here. So. I'm put Dale next to Andrea. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, right. Dale was a 1 out of 12. Dale is 1 out of 12, but he's number one in my heart. <laughs> oh, I should put him in between Andrea and Glenn. Oh. Yeah. Remember Glenn was crying at the IV. Oh. oh, this feels weird. No idea what this is. Who is that? Oh, uh, I think that that's... might be Lizzie. Or... Oh, Lizzie? No, it's Mika. It's Mika. Okay. Ooh. Mika, played by Kyla Kennedy. She's a one out of 36. I told you, man. The magic touch. She's bloody. Is that gonna give you nightmares? No, not at all. Down and dirty with Mika, aka Kyla Kennedy. Where are you going? Oh, you're going in the middle? middle? All right. Coming in the middle, man. It's, we all have to do it at one point or another. Get out of here. Sit. Get into it. And it's Shane. Shane Walsh. 
Bloody Mouth Shane Walsh. What number, uh, what are the odds on that guy? He's a one out of six, which means he's the most common. All right, all right, but that's the first time we got a one out of six, right? I'm probably expecting a. Gonna, there's going to probably be a double of him in this box. All right, I'm going to move. I'm going to put Shane next to Lori. Heyo, and there's Judith is in the the tummy, so oh. you put Shane next to Lori. <laughs> oh well, uh, because it's their kid. Their kid is is Judith, so I'll just all right. Okay, I guess just cool. Make it right here. Uh, I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to go front your side. Front your side. Oh, okay. Uh, who am I hoping? I mean, I'm hoping for Abraham. That's the one that I wanted to get was Abraham. Bloody Abraham. Obviously, it's a memoriam. That's the one I really, really wanted. So I'm hoping for Abraham. There's two in here. I'm just kidding. There's not. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. There's Glenn and then Glenn's eyeball. There's two. Oh. 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 Is that our first repeat? Yep. All right. Called it. Bloody Shane. Bloody mouth chain. Wow. Oh, yeah. face plant. Things are, are going. So that's, he's dead, but he's got the bloody mouth. He hasn't turned yet, I don't think. No. That's when uh, he rammed his face against the tree uh, after he uh, killed Randall. Yeah. My kids watch The Walking Dead. I'm what you call a good parent. All right, bro. We got three in the bottom on my side. We got one on, on your side. Hmm. Will you stay a middleman? Are you going to move to the head of the class? Are you going to go to the back of the bus? What are we doing? I think I'm going to go to the back of the bus. Go to the back of the bus. Outcast was a big fan of going to the back of the bus. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. How does it feel opening a bunch of mystery minis in one sitting? This feels amazing. The Plastic Empire, man. Hooking it up. This Those hands are getting tired. Oh, you know it. What we got going on? Please don't be Shane. We got a Sophia. Oh, Sophia. Sophia. Little Sophia. She's so cute, isn't she? She is. Little Sophia. Cool. Well, too bad we didn't get zombies over here. Oh, there's actually walkers? Oh, RV walkers in here. All right, where am I going? I'm going to go. I'm going to be a middle man. I'm going middle on the bottom. No, there's no RV walker. It's Denise. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One person's RV walker is another person's Denise, I guess. <laughs> oh. oh. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Merle Dixon. Merle. Merle. He's uh, he's gone. Mm -hmm. His brother Daryl will probably join him soon. Yep. Hey oh. All right. Cool. Merle Dixon. This one uh, is spoken for so by our amazing there. camera woman and director, Raina yeah. Cruz. I'll put uh, Merle next to Glenn because he beat him up. Merle seems to be a one out of twelve. Yeah. It's just you know it's a Merle Dixon kind of world. Mm -hmm. T Dog is in here too. So we haven't got T-Dog yet. Irony, if you're watching. Wait, let's see who else we have. Yeah, got. bro, you're killing me, man. Get another one. I'm going crazy right now, wondering what's in there. Uh, I think I'll go for the front. All right, do what you gotta do. Oh, I just ripped that box. It's all right, man. We're not keeping those boxes. We're just keeping the figs. And that's what I do. I learned it by watching you. What do we got? Shane, just kidding. Stuck. We got a Jesse. Oh, Jesse. Oh, Jesse. Oh, Jesse. She got a, she got a little, uh, little meat poncho. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mom. 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 Poor kid got his Jessie. head bent out like an apple. Yep. Yeah, he did. Zombie apple. Class one. Come on, Abraham. Or RV Denise. <laughs> RV Denise. Doesn't feel like Abraham. Feels like it's got hair. Oh. Please be ghost in a jar. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh. What the hell is that? <laughs> no. Was that Jim Carrey? <laughs> I don't know who that is. It's this one out of twelve. One out of twelve. It's obviously somebody is a walker. Um. Wait, is it like zombie Lori? No. No. You see this on the bottom? Oh yeah, it's up top. Yeah. It's got a very big gold ring and a watch. So if anybody knows who this is. Let us know who that is, because I personally, I have no idea who that is. Who do you think it is? Got a necklace and a watch. I don't know. Uh, it's pretty rad, whoever it is. So, there you have it. We had one double out of 12. That's pretty good, right? Who were you most excited to, to unbox? Who was I most excited to unbox? Yeah, who, was you, who were you like, yeah, that's the ticket. Probably Dale. Dale. All right. I can see that. 
Uh, Glenn, I'm a big. That was a, I like the ones with the you know that are rare. So yeah. Glenn was pretty rad. Um, Laurie's kind of cool with the belly. I'm a big mm -hmm. Shane fan. And Andrea with her with her chains and stuff, or her little handcuffs, I thought was pretty cool as well. Pretty rad opening all these mystery minifigs, right? Exactly. So again, we can't thank Plastic Empire enough uh, for helping us unbox these minifigs. Uh, of course, uh, we had a great uh, lineup with Laurie, Jesse, uh, Mika, Shane, Nicholas, Glenn, Merle, Dale, Andrea, uh, Sophia, Extra Shane, and Guy. We have no idea who it is. So yeah, it was a good time, right? Yes. Right? I'm Dave Solo. This is Dave Solo. Uh, and again, thanks again to our friends over at Plastic Empire. Don't forget to listen to our latest podcast for the Pop 10 and subscribe to this channel. Uh, had fun. We'll see you next time right here on the Pop 10.